Good morning, everybody, as I'm making a mess. <laughs> Dork. So, let's get this t-shirt back up here. Hey, guys, my name is Nicola Dickens. This is Free My Care. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel, whichever the case may be. Uh, yeah, my pillow's here. I'm an angel because my pillow says so. And always follow your dreams. That's what I am here to tell you today. So, let me share this feed out to the world, and we will get into another weed revert review this one here is um from trike concentrates it is actually uh the nirvana center's uh top tier concentrate so i am extremely excited to show that to you guys um i got a half a gram of this just for the taste um and so i'm going to be showing you all of that but first i need to share this feed out to the world i am sorry i know this is like the boringest part of this whole thing but i am getting there i promise um, doo -doo -doo. if I had another person, I would be able to do this. All right, let me rephrase. If I had another person that was, uh, good in technology, it would be good. So... So anybody know anybody good in technology that wants to help out a little, I am always looking for a little bit of help, um, and I would be happy to help and help promote you as well. Yay! That way I don't have to do this every day and it's not so boring, because it is really boring and I'm sorry guys, it sucks. I am going to be the first one to say that to you, because it does, it sucks. But I am doing it as fast as heavenly possible, I promise. One more and we are golden. Whoop whoop. So how is everybody? How was your weekend? Did you have a great weekend? Uh, did you do anything fun, anything new, anything exciting, anything different or whatever? Please share it in the comments below. I had a good weekend. It was a little crazy. Good morning, Randolyn. How you doing, my love? My cousin, my, my favorite cousin. Uh, I guess I can't say that. I have a lot of cousins, so if I if I if I tell her she's my favorite, then she'll tell everybody else, and then everybody's gonna get mad at me because she's my favorite, and you know I can't do that. Um, just like it's easy for me to say I have one favorite brother. That's because he's my only brother, so he's allowed to be my favorite. So <laughs> actually, that is not true. I have step siblings, but he is my only actual brother. So. Uh, let's get on with this. Uh, today we are reviewing uh, Ice Cream Man. It is from Trite Concentrates. Uh, it comes to, they, that is Nirvana Center's top tier concentrate. This is a 60-40 indica hybrid. You guys are going to love it. Let's take a look at it right now and then let's smoke it and see what we're doing here. So this is Terp Infused. Amazing stuff. Again, I only got a half a gram of it this time. I wanted to taste it first um, before we get started. So let's heat this up and let's taste it. Because I will tell you, it's got a lot of beautiful taste to her. And the packaging. Oh my God, before we go any further, uh, let's talk about this, this packaging. Um, I absolutely love the packaging. It is, for a top tier, it is amazing. So this is the top of the box. This is their, their logo. They have it on all of their brands. I have more inside that we're going to be reviewing later on during this week. They put all of the uh, patient information on the bottom. As you guys can see, when I do my research, I write onto the bottom what it is so that way when we're smoking it here at home, if we need a higher amount of THC, we can do that. We can pick between what it is that we have. Or if we're looking for a heavier indica than we are a sativa, we can do that. But this is their Diamonds brand, so they have um, this little place where your concentrates sit in. I absolutely love the branding. It is so pretty. It is so cute. I will actually be uh, <laughs> squishing this up so I can put it in my book because I like it so much. The branding is just absolutely amazing. I love it. So I just thought I wanted to take a second to show that to you. Uh, good job, uh, Nirvana Center. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, I am all about that branding, let me tell you. So let's get into this smoking one. So <laughs> Sadly, I was going to clean out my bong, my bong this, the actual bong part this morning, but there was quite a few, quite a bit of drama actually in my husky groups over the weekend that I didn't get a chance to. So I've been dealing with that drama. 
Uh, and it's been fun, interesting. You learn a lot of things about people when you do those, when you do the investigations. And it's kind of funny. Um, you know, you'll have one people, to, you know, one side of the story and then you have the next side of the story and you've got to come up with something that's right in the middle that's fair, that is just, and that's what I'm trying to do. So it's been a little difficult. That's why I'm late this morning. I'm really sorry. I'm trying to get all sides of the story so that we, we can make a an informed decision. So that is what happened and why I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> so let's heat this bong up. Let's do this. Guys, don't forget uh, to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the Weedy family here on YouTube. We do all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, we talk about weed. We smoke weed. We get a lot of weed. We smoke a lot of weed. We do all kinds of stuff. So uh, I would love you to hit that subscribe button. So uh, today I'm actually wearing this shirt. Um, from Sheen uh, online, you can get their app. It's I believe it's just Sheen.com, or if you go to the Apple Play Store or the um, uh, Android Play Store, you will find the Sheen app in there. You can go through it. They have a lot of really nice clothes, really inexpensive. Um, I'll be showing you more clothes in the future, but right now it's just the top. It's really cute. It's really comfortable. Um, it's actually double-sided, so it's actually kind of a thicker fit, so I really, really like that. Um, and then I decided to match it up with July's uh, Adore Me Box Bra Set. So, I know, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm showing you guys my underwear. So, um, all of this here on the top. This actually is not a part of the shirt. It is a part of the actual bra. It's the bralette itself. So it's kind of weird. I've always seen like the, 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 the lace and stuff on the back of the bra. It's the first time I've seen it on the front. But I like it. It's nice. It's a very comfortable fit bra. It's, I don't know, I really love it. So if you guys um, are ever looking for, you know, <laughs> bralettes and underwear that you're needing, and if you are a uh, Victoria's Secret junkie like me, uh, you guys will enjoy uh, AdoreMe.com. They have been really great. I really like what they've sent so far. Um, I've actually worn the uh, teddy that was sent, the negligee um, that was sent for my husband. He adored it. He loved it. I did a whole fashion show for him with the underwear and the bras, and he was just in heaven. So I can tell you for a fact that, uh, yeah, doing a little fashion show on occasion for your husband will help... Uh, will help that relationship with your guys's and he will enjoy it as long as that is at home and yeah enjoying it that way so let's go ahead and get a small dab of this and get it going so as always guys fuck cancer So this is a really citrusy infused. There's a lot of citrus. Um, it actually kind of tastes like um, like a lemon drop. Um, it has that sweet citrusy pungent taste to it. So it is really good. Um, definitely citrusy. Definitely citrusy. Good stuff. So hopefully my uh, container or my my this doesn't run out of fuel because I am running out of fuel here soon. Must enjoy it all. So let's go ahead and dive into this world of ice cream man. So it is a 60-40 indica hybrid. I'm not sure the parent lineage on this. This is from Trike. It is the up or the top tier shelf of their concentrate. So it is a little bit more expensive. This one here is $28 a half a gram. So you're looking at about $60 for a full gram of this wax. So yeah. It is a little expensive. So I do not have any THC levels on this. I don't have any CBDs or CBNs on this, on this particular strain. I am sorry. I will be asking for test results because I was not able to find any. However, at this particular point in time, this is a A plus rated uh, strain by most tokers, including this girl. I have smoked quite a bit of it at this point in time. The relaxation qualities that it allows is amazing. 
um, when I'm really needing a little extra kick on that pain management like I have this morning. Uh, my pain level was up there at, at about a 9 this morning. It was kind of crazy. I'm actually almost didn't even do a video today. I was going to almost stay in bed. And I'm like, no, I got stuff to do. I got to do this. So uh, this is a great strain. I did smoke a little bit of it before I came out here just to keep me motivated. Um, so I do love it. It has a smooth smoke that feels quite good inside. Uh, she has a beautiful full body pungent smell. It produces a buzz that affects your head and body equally and is quite strong. Um, all of that is true. That is what I was able to observe off this because I wasn't really able to find too much on something on, on it. Uh, the effects of this are euphoria, happy, relaxing, and sleepy, medicinally to treat anxiety, arthritis, chronic pain, depression, insomnia, nausea, and PMS. Um, I have seen PMS on other review type things on this before. Um, the reason why it does help with that PMS, it helps with the crankiness, it helps with the bloating somewhat, um, and it does help with the pain of cramping. So it does help with PMS quite often. I personally, I haven't had to deal with PMS since my late 20s. So almost 20 years now, I had a hysterectomy um, and I would never do it. I, I would do it again in a, in a heartbeat. It has been amazing. I prefer, you know, I had my kids. It was very lucky. I was able to have them. I had to have that hysterectomy because of cancer. So it wasn't a choice. Um, simply because they will not do a hysterectomy on somebody that is under, you know, under 30 or 40, and I was 28, I believe, when I had it done. So that was done specifically for uterine cancer. They went ahead and ripped it all out. They didn't want it mutating or going into ovarian cancer because that can cost you your life. So all of these things that I do write on the book, sometimes some of them I do not write myself. I will copy from other places. Allbut.com is one of them. Uh, because it's all factual information. However, I do make sure that I throw in and if I don't feel those results myself I'm not going to talk about them. That's why I put in here. This girl really likes this strain This girl thinks this strain is really relaxing because I had to write these. It's amazing um, It also helps me, you know, with talkative and all of that other stuff. What are you doing, Papa? You just gonna go over there and stand? What? What's up? You need something? What? You think everybody wants to see your butt? I don't think so. <laughs> Very obtrusive there you are. You just sit here. It's pet time. You're going to come and just sit right here and stand on my foot. Little shit. So, great strand. Let's go ahead and do a little bit hot and a hurtful dab. I got to sit there. What? He's so funny. He gets in his little moods, and ever since that freaking bunny, I, I think I told you guys the story. Um, my dog, Raffi, there likes to go and visit all of the neighbors, and he seems to think that all of the neighbors like him to do this, which I'm sure they don't. Um, Raffi, no. No. Raphael. Raphael. So, yeah, my dog was... <laughs> My dog, actually the entire litter of the dogs, uh, was named after the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Raffi fit him so well when I got him when he was six weeks old that we kept it. But anyway, he likes to push down this little fence that I have out front and when he does that, he goes and he wanders around and he sees all the neighbors and whatnot. Well, last week when we were doing a video, he was out there in the, in just like out in the road, I guess is what you would call it, it's just dirt. and. Uh, he was like standing off with a bunny. One bunny, you know, the bunny was sitting here, he was sitting here. The bunny saw him before he saw the bunny. So the bunny's like, okay, I don't move, maybe he won't see me. Well, Raffi found, Raffi saw the bunny and he like starts to like get down, hunch down a little bit and he goes to attack. Well, when he goes to attack, the bunny decides, uh-uh, I'm not doing this. And he decides he's gonna attack as well. So the bunny comes running up to Raffi gets almost face to face with him and he jumps and right when he jumps he thumps Raffi in the head and I swear to god I could hear that thump all the way over here it knocked Raffi down and he gets up and he's shaking his head like what the fuck <laughs> it was so funny so he has an arch nemesis bunny out here so he goes out to the fence down he kind of looks around but he doesn't want to open the fence because he or push the fence down because he's afraid he's going to get thumped again <laughs> 
So watch out, those little bunnies will get ya. I have never seen that happen before. I've never seen a, uh, a bunny and a dog do that before or a bunny and anything do that. And I've never seen a bunny thump a dog. And I'm like, holy shit, and it was loud. It was so loud. Oh my God, it was so funny. So let's do this. Whoop, whoop. How is everybody? What are you guys doing? What did I do over the weekend? I know it was so hot. We uh we ended up going to Top Golf in uh, I think it's Avondale, Arizona, um, and it's just a um, it's a three levels uh, I want to say putting range, but it's not putting. It's where you hit balls into the. <laughs> I'm sorry, I suck at this. Um, so we were. It's a it's a golf thing where you're. What is it called? Oh my god. Benji, how are you doing? I am good this morning. I can't remember what that's called, where they're hitting the balls and you just you sit it out. Well, this has little holes in it and you can get points for doing, for hitting the ball. And uh, yeah, I can't golf for shit, let me tell you. But it was really fun. I'll be posting some pictures or some videos of that. Uh, yeah, it was a whole lot of fun. If you guys ever get a chance to go to Top, Ball, uh, Top Flight or whatever the name that is, it is so much fun, it really is. And it is so cool. The place is amazing. It is so fun to look at. Um, it, it, you really gotta gotta check it out. Hey, Christy. Heading to the dentist this morning on Durban Poison. That is a good one. Um, whenever I have to go to the dentist, it's a blueberry Kush for me because that is 100% indica, and it will help relax you a lot. So I am I I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I get it. I feel your pain, sister. So let's do this. So this hot and hurtful, let's see what the effects actually really are because you really can tell them when you do a hot and hurtful. So I, uh, when I when I record, it's kind of fun. Let's do this first and then I'll explain. As always, guys, fuck cancer. <sighs> oh, seriously, seriously citrusy. So good. So good. Mm. That one got me though. I'm still exhaling. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Should we? I feel like rapping now. I have to shake my head. Wow, I'll tell you what, that hits you in one spot right there in your throat. And it burns like a son of a SOB, let me tell you. I normally don't refrain from testing, but I am for today for some strange reason, and I'm not sure why. Oh my goodness. So I must ask, before I get on with that question, Miranda, how did you like you how do you like your review book? Have you used it yet? Because I sent you one. <laughs> Here we So that one spot in your throat starts to calm down and you almost immediately start feeling that head euphoria. Um, I got hot, I can feel the, the sweat dripping down my back. So this one is one of those hot and hurtful. If you do that hot and hurtful, it's going to knock you upside your head. Cause I can really feel that euphoria in my head right now, which is amazing. I don't get that very often. And usually when I do get that, it is only with a hot and hurtful. Um, I, I, between smoking so much pot and eating so much pot and RSO, it's, it's hard to get to that euphoria state unless you're really trying. Phew. So as I was saying, um, as I sit here and I record, I can see me um, facing me. So it's kind of weird. I can see what I look like. I can see what I'm wearing. And I'm really, really digging the way that the bra works with this shirt today. Uh, sorry, I know you guys don't even care. But um, I did, the, 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 the. <laughs> I gotta tell you, uh, adoreme.com, I really, really like their stuff. It is a little bit pricey, but they send you stuff, you get to try it on, and then you get to pick if you wanna keep it. Um, so I do wanna throw that out there. I really like it, the fit is perfect. I told them what my size was, um, and I have an odd size, I'm a 32D. I'm a, I'm a 34 to a 32, a 32 to a 34D. Um, and it really depends on whether or not I'm bloated. 
Um, so I sent them that. They sent me this 32B. I'm able, I mean, and it fits. That's kind of weird for me. I normally can't go to places and just pick up a bra and buy it and then go home and try it on because it never works out the way it, the way I see it. The way I see it on the, the, the mannequin or the shelf is totally different than how it actually fits me. So if any of you guys are like that, uh, follow their, go to the Adormy thing, follow the simple steps to make sure you get your measurements right. And I'll tell you what, that bra comes and I love it. I really do love it. Um, it's really comfortable. It's really cute. I can, I feel like I'm more covered even though it's my bra that's showing, but I don't feel like people can tell that it's my bra. It's only because I'm telling you that you know. So uh, I just, you know, I just want to point that. I just want to talk about that for a second. It's, you know, it's some cool stuff. I like this thing. <laughs> and I am not a bra girl. I do not like them. But I will show you. The lace does kind of come down quite a bit of a ways. So, I mean, you have full coverage. It's really nice. My wife loves that place. I thought she was the only one that ordered from there. No, you know something, Benji? I really like them too. And this is the first time that I've done anything. Um, and so, yeah, um, I have probably 15 bras in my, in my closet or in my drawer. Um, and I wear maybe three of them. So, because I get them home and I don't like them they're uncomfortable or they don't fit the way they're supposed to or something about them is something I don't like. Um, so when I ordered this box, I expected to see that same type of issue and I didn't have it. So no, your wife is, I mean, she's, if she, if she is not beaming about it, you know that she's, she is on the inside because it, when we have something like this that makes us feel a little bit better um, or a little bit more feminine or just a little sexy, not too sexy to where we're showing everything off, but just a little sexy, it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice to have. So, yeah, no, she's not the only one. There's, there's several of us. I just happen to talk about it on my channel because I'm a blogger. <laughs> so that and I, I tend to talk about things that I really, really like. So, and I do, I really like this set. So, sorry guys. I know you guys don't care about my underwear. <laughs> sorry, but I'm telling you anyway. Um, uh, yeah, I'm telling you anyway. First off, they're sponsors. So yeah, I got it. I got to tell you. Um, but no, they're just, I really like them. And it's hard for me to find somebody like that that I like, especially in underwear. I have such a weird... Uh, view on my own body that I do not like to be seen in my underwear at all. It's just one of those things that I'm like, oh my God, nobody wants to see that. Ugh. Um, and then when they sent a nighty or a negligee with that box, I was like, uh, shit. Because I'm trying the bras and underwear on for my husband. He's going to see that and he's going to want to see it too. So I'm like, great, I'm not going to like this and da 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 da. And I put it on um, and it was perfect. It fit perfect. And I was like, holy shit. The only problem was, you know, a little bit in the in the top part. But my husband and Gary, he was like, eh, hey, you can fall out of that all day long. I'm happy. So, <laughs> you know, um, it's women have, we have that, that discomfort when it comes to our own bodies. We all do. I mean, it doesn't matter what we look like. Even some of those supermodels that you've seen have those little idiosyncrasies about their own body that they don't like. And all of us don't see it, but even, you know, like our daughter this weekend, I did a little bit of a video of her golfing. And let me tell you, she's what, 110 pounds tops. She's this little bitty thing. And she's like, oh my God, I look so fat. I'm like, don't, don't, no, no, don't say that. No, you are not. You are tiny. You wear a size zero. You're not fat. Um, but it, it's, it is something about us women that we have that, that idiosyncrasy about our body and we see things a little bit different. So when this company sent this, it was really cool. <laughs> You're so funny. My wife loves your channel. We try to watch you all the time. Well, thank you. Um, you know, I, I'm trying to be funny. Sometimes I'm like, oh, damn it. I forgot to throw a joke in today. That's going to be a boring ass freaking review. And that's what I keep thinking. But sometimes I'm like, you know, let's just share parts of my life because I have had such a crazy, weird life. Um, it, you know, my mom, she was a radio disc jockey. So we grew up in that world. We grew up in that um, 
we met famous people. We were on the red carpet. We did weird things uh, growing up. So our lives have been so weird. Uh, one of my favorite stories is uh, meeting Stephen King. Uh, holy shit, it blew my mind. He was the my favorite author in the whole wide world because my mom had read us his stories. Uh, the Boogeyman was the first one we had ever read. <clears throat> I was 10, 11 years old. And, my, and he's like, what the hell are you doing reading my books? And I'm like, they're amazing. My mom read me the first story and then I picked up the books and I, I couldn't put them down. They were so fucking good. And, um, you know, it's, it's been all kinds of different relationships throughout my life. You know, I personally have never had an actual relationship with a celebrity. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that. Um, but I've been in their lives. I've seen them. I've seen them on the back, back part of where people don't really see them. So, and it's really kind of cool when, you know, when you get to meet Stephen King when you're 10, 11 years old, most kids are like, holy shit, that's Stephen King. I'm scared. He's going to put a spell on me or something. Um, and I'm just like, dude, give me a hug. I can't, you are my hero. Oh my God. He has always been an inspiration to me because one of his most famous things were uh, face your fears every day. If, if you face a fear every day, you will become a stronger person. And I try to face that fear every single day um, with my agoraphobia because I come outside every single day to talk to you guys. Um, I do things like this in public so that way I can see and talk to you guys. Um, I try to face those fears every day, but I also try to let you guys know that I'm human and sometimes facing those fears are more difficult than what I can do. So it takes me longer or it may, you know, it takes me longer. It takes me a day or two to face some of those fears and it's hard. Um, I, I have a cup inside. Adulting is hard. <laughs> and I want you guys to know that it's hard. It's hard for all of us. Because before I started this channel, there were a lot of things that I thought oh, it was just me. I thought I was the only one that felt that way. I thought I was the only one that thought that way. I thought I was the only one that forgot the things that I forgot. I thought it was just me. And then I got to meet so many of you guys that this also happens to. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm normal. <laughs> or, oh my God, I'm a normal weird. And that's what I like. That's what I want to be, <laughs> is a normal weird. <laughs> and it's, you know, I like that weird aspect to me. So, you know, I like having that, you know, I go to sleep to scary movies because that's what I'm, that's what I face. I have to face that every day. I have to face my life. And my life is kind of scary <laughs> at times. So if I'm forcing myself into scary type of situations, it makes my life a little bit easier. I know it sounds stupid, it's crazy, but oh my God, it does help. <laughs> um, you know, I think we all have a little bit of crazy and I didn't realize that until I started this channel either. Um, I, I got to talk to so many of you guys and you're like, eh, I do that too. And eh, it's no big deal. Eh. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, I got to meet the very first person ever that has interstitial cystitis like me. And I was excited to be able to meet her and I felt bad for being excited to be able to meet her because I've never been able to meet somebody like that before. And it's something that I have and it's like, okay, am I the only one that has this? Am I the only one? So it's like, you know, my doctor tells me he's done this first part of the surgery a million times. And I'm like, okay, what's it look like? Uh, I can't show you that. It's in the private area. I'm like, okay, well, what can you show me? Why has this been around for so long? Why can't you show? What am I going to look like down there? <laughs> and I want to say that that Adore Me box has helped me with that because I am so scared of what I'm gonna look like down there that I'm like, okay, when my husband's home, I wanna show it off all I can now. So that way, when I come home after the surgery and it's weird, I don't feel so self-conscious of him seeing it then. And so that is, um, I guess, where the excitement of, be, of these bras and stuff fitting and the excitement of being able to do this and me actually going a little bit further and showing you more of the bra and pointing it out. Um, it, it's, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna look like down there when you're done and, I, and that's kind of scary. It's, it's, it, it's, it freaks you out. <laughs> so I have been extremely 
extremely thankful for adoreme.com because it has it has helped me get out of my shell a little bit it's the first time i've ever talked about my underwear on my channel uh, and i actually opened the box and showed you the underwear so you've actually seen the underwear that i'm wearing so um it's something different that i did that i decided i was going to face my fears on um i figured if anything i'd at least have a good show out of it because it would at least be funny of me turning beet red and stumbling over my words like i'm doing now <laughs> so let's uh do another dab <laughs> I am so glad you guys like this show. It is, it, it really does make me happy. Um, if there's anything else you guys want to see in the show, like I said, uh, this Thursday, or, or I probably won't be until Saturday, we will be changing dispensaries again. Um, I want to hit several dispensaries over the next uh, couple of months so that we, we can get a good idea of what the other dispensaries have. Um, if I had more money, I would be doing a larger array with their edibles with, um, I am however looking for the dispensaries that do cover, that do carry RSO. Um, so I am looking at those two, um, because I want to make sure to get those down into the comments. Uh, that RSO is great for anybody who's got major chronic pain, anybody who has cancer, um, <clears throat> anybody who has major ang or anxiety, depression, any of those types of things, muscle, you need a muscle relaxer, you need any of that, that RSO is a great thing. You would start out with a grain rice piece of that RSO and you would move up until you hit about a gram to two grams. If you're a cancer patient, if you're just using it for pain, then you just level up as you need to for the pain. So just so everybody knows, I'm an angel, my pillow says so. <laughs> so let's heat this up again. Let's have us one last dab and we will have a great day. Um, I am so sorry for my second channel. I have not uploaded the, the, the treat video. I am going to be working on it today. Hopefully I'll get it uploaded today. Oh my gosh, so many things have been going on lately that it has just been crazy. You guys know how it is when drama hits. Um, only the drama's not in, in any of my weed stuff, it's in my husky stuff. So I'm like, oh my god, no. So I'm like, okay, we got this. <laughs> so I want to I wanna try to get that video up to kind of get that community to, to, to kind of relax a little bit. But I wasn't actually directly involved in this drama, so I'm really happy. I just have to investigate it. And that's, you know, that's the more fun part because you get to talk to everybody and you get to hear all their sides and I kind of like that. Because a lot of the times you get very, very similar stories with just a lot of emotion in it. And and once you can get through that emotion, you you normally can find that the, the, the parties involved make up and, and things go better. <clears throat> and that's what I love is I love that being able to bring them back together and help them, you know, get through some of that because life's too short to be fighting all the time and, and it's just too short. So as always guys, have a great day. Let's do this for anxiety, depression, and everything else. I watched all that James Charles drama a while back a few months ago because he had lost so so many subscribers in so little time so I watched that and let me tell you life is too short to 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 fight with somebody to that point to, to hate to, to come up with this type of aggression and and I understand some people defending de defending themselves but it's too short. It really is. Um, I, I read a tweet during that whole James Charles mess that kind of summed up all of it and I thought was pretty awesome. Um, a woman had text or had uh, tweeted in something along or I, I don't believe it's a direct quote, but it's pretty close to it. I don't care about the drama. I just need to help or I, I just don't want my makeup to look fugly. And that resonated with me because she's right. It, it's not about that type of drama. It's not about that. 
that should be taken care of behind the scenes. It should always be taken care of behind the scenes. And if, you know, you're calling somebody out for, for legitimate reasons and you're saying, hey, look, you did, you did, you did, and it's not cool, um, understand that a lot of times you can't control what people are going to say or do. So getting it out in writing is never a good idea. Um, don't write your, I mean, unless you plan on writing your feelings in your own journal or writing a letter to that person that you're mad at and then burning it, it is never a good idea to put those types of things in writing because a lot of times you are speaking from a hurt, sad, depressed place and you're feeling like you're being attacked and you want to hit that defense mechanism very quickly. So you are going to say and do things that maybe you don't fully agree with, you only kind of agree with, you wish that, you know, that things would stop, but you don't know exactly how to say it. My best suggestion is to scream at that pillow, yell and scream at that pillow. Find somebody that you can verbally vent to that knows your venting that will allow you to vent um, and get those feelings out of you because those feelings can be extremely, extremely toxic. When you go and you post different things, um, have a, a responsible reason for posting them. Don't just post them because you feel that you have to post them first to defend yourself because that other person hasn't done anything yet. Um, a while back, I posted a bunch of text messages and I put on there, please disregard, need to timestamp. Um, that happens quite often. Um, and please understand that that timestamping is to protect not only the person that um, is sending the text messages, but the person that is receiving those text messages because now they're documented and they're timestamped. Nothing's been tampered with and that information is all there. If you put those feelings of hurt and disarrayment and, and depression and exaggerated feelings into, into something that is written, those words will eventually haunt you. Please understand that. I, myself personally, have always been my own worst enemy when it comes to my mouth or when it comes to anything. So I have learned over the years to choose to shut the fuck up. And I can't say it any other way. That is the nicest way I can say it. But if you don't choose to shut the fuck up, those words can and will be used against you. So please guys, for anybody involved in any type of drama, please, please, please um, take these words to heart. Uh, anything that you write can and will be used against you in public opinion. I'm sorry, it will. Um, the, most of the time, text messages will and can be taken out of context simply because they're text messages and you don't know the feeling behind them. So, um, yeah, that is, that's, you know, that's, that's my advice. Uh, I can tell you that most of the time, um, shutting the fuck up is the hardest thing in the world to do but it is the only way to do it because with the social media and everything the way that it is now anything will be used against you so i want to make sure that we are on the same page guys because i know that a lot of of you that um have ever been in drama have watched my channel because we are the misfits that's who we are um but uh, it took cannabis to teach me that I needed to put that, that two second time lapse in there in my brain so that we, I thought about the words before they come shooting out of my mouth because I don't know how many times words have shot out of my mouth and I have paid for them a year later. So, <laughs> please, even if you think that you wrote it down and you got away with it, please remember that that can still be brought against you <laughs> in the court of public opinion. So, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, um, yeah, that's, that's my advice, guys. Uh, 
Wow, it's been it's been it's been a very interesting drama thing, and I'm just really really glad that I actually wasn't involved. So, <laughs> so let's do one last dab. Let's enjoy this. Let's get some thumbs up. Let's. Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I got off on a tangent because it's been one of those mornings. I feel bad. It's just like half of this stuff could have been avoided had just the words not have been sent said um, it was the words actually being said or typed that was the trigger and you know when when you're when you're helping people or working with people online it's really tough because you can't tell the expression of stuff in in, in text it's hard I mean unless you're like typing in all caps and explanation point explanation point it's really difficult to understand what that other person's demeanor is behind that text so that's why I always say if it's something that could be used against you in a court of public opinion because you guys know as well as I do the court of public opinion is much harder on you than the court, court of law so uh, they will can they will try and convict you before you've even known you did nothing so yeah uh, it is very important to abstain from saying what you <laughs> don't don't write it down that's it just don't write it down you can do anything else you can scream it from the rooftops you can do whatever you want to don't write it down don't put it in 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 a, in a video uh, because it can be used against you it really can be used against you so uh, guys uh, I, I, I just want to help you learn from some of the mistakes that I've made on here well not necessarily on here but in life and it, it, I'll tell you what there there are so many times that in life if I would have just said one word different it would have avoided an entire fight um, and, and there was one time, oh my god, there was one time, I'll tell you about it too, because I it almost slipped out of my mouth, and I'm like, holy shit, why would I say that? And it has bugged me since. So, uh, fuck your question. Citrusy. It's almost like a, 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 a tangerine or a um, well, those little smiley oranges. Kind of what it tastes really, really good. Mm. Um, so there was this one time, like I said, my mouth is, I don't know what it is with my mouth. It will get me into trouble. But my husband was on the roof and the guys had noticed he was starting to crash. He had to get him off the roof and he was in the, in the garage. And I come walking out and he started yelling at me because what happens when people crash from diabetes is they start getting very agitated they be, and they're not really ag agitated with you they're agitated with themselves because they can't think very well they have like this tornado of thoughts going on in their head and they can't grasp any of them and so that's kind of what's going on there and so they will lash out because they don't know how to do anything it's just I mean I, I call it the two-year-old stage because he kind of reverts back to a two-year-old and I have to keep that in mind because it's hard for me at times to not want to strangle him because <laughs> he gets so mean um, but there was one time he was on the roof he was crashing the guys got him down because they were fixing our roof and I come walking into the garage and he's yelling at me and I'm trying to say you're crashing and then he finally comes out and says well I'm crashing and I went to say, I know, but the word that popped in my mouth was, it, it's not my problem. When I'm like, yeah, it is. That's sure as hell fucking my problem. What the hell? What? And I got mad at myself. Those words never actually came out of my mouth. I told him um, instead that, you know, let's turn around, let's get a soda. And I got him, you know, get, just got sugar back into him to where we got him functioning correctly. I went inside and tore into my own ass for thinking that why would that ever come into my brain because that is most certainly my problem 
Um, and that's what I mean by that. It's that would normally just fly out of my mouth. And I don't mean those things. It's that I'm getting yelled at and I have all this stuff. And then I start getting defensive and I blurt back. So I, the cannabis has helped put that trigger in there for me to calm me down so that way I know, hey, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting irritated. He's only crashing. It's not how he feels. He's just crashing. And so I'm able to pull myself back together. But cannabis helps me with that. If, it, if I didn't have that, I wouldn't be able to stop myself from flying off. And then we'd have this huge fight because before I started smoking, that was one thing that would happen is we would, he, he would start crashing and I would take everything he said personal. Um, because I, you don't like to hear those mean things coming out of, you know, your husband's mouth. You don't want him yelling at you. It's, uh, you know, it's not something, and he would make me cry and it would be a huge thing, but it wasn't him. It was him crashing. They are a different person when, when they're crashing like that. And I had to get that through my head. I had to remember that every time he crashed, I had to make sure that I was okay. I had to then, um, you know, come up with the, oh, it's not me he's yelling at. He's yelling because he's so upset. Um, so I'm able to calm myself down and not take a lot of this stuff personally um, and then get the sugar that he needs into him so he's not crashing anymore. And then I, you know, am able to monitor that but it is very difficult, and that is one thing that, that cannabis has helped me at, is, you know, my whole adulting. It, adulting is hard, and there are times when I need that extra second to think about what's coming out of my mouth. Because if I don't, um, yeah, I'm screwed. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my foot in my mouth every fucking time. It's, it's just the way that I work. Um, I don't know why, it's just I'm an idiot. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that's, that's my thought on it, guys. I love you all madly. Please don't, please don't, um, don't get too upset. Please understand that people say things in anger. Don't, they say things they don't mean in anger. Don't take it personally too, no, you know, too personally. Just, you know, make sure that you're apologizing for the, the, the stuff you did. Make sure you're, you're owning your, your behavior. And that's really all it is, is owning your own behavior. So that's it for today, guys. Sorry, this one ended up dragging out. Uh, Nirvana Center, I absolutely love the packaging. I love the product. It is great. I am very, very happy. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys for watching. It has been a beautiful day. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Again, I am hopefully going to be up on my, my second channel after this. Um, so have a great day, guys. And I will definitely see you tomorrow. And what is going to fall on me? So, I don't know if any of you guys are in Arizona, please write in the comments below. Are you guys having as much of a problem with grasshoppers as we are? <laughs> oh my God, they are everywhere, everywhere. Um, in Wickenburg, I guess if you uh, are going to pump gas and stuff in Wickenburg, you have to like clear them off of the gas pumps. There are so many. So yeah, tell me where you are and if you guys are having the same problem with grasshoppers as I am, because holy shit, my roof is covered. <laughs> Bye guys. Mwah. Mad love. I'll see you tomorrow.